Hi guys, how are you today? We're going to start, uh, sorry, I have to have the light on. It's dark outside. Uh, going to start at Pattern Focus. Make sure when you go to pattern-collections.com, you're going to pattern-collections.com, not patterncollections.com, because if you don't have that dash in there, you go to the wrong place. Um, we're going to go to the next one. Remember that all of our patterns uh, this week are done by the uh, lovely Dorte Supel Core, every single one of them. So um, this is a lovely one, very gemmy looking. I, I may grab my colored pencils for this. I love the way this tile has, has turned out. Um, <clears throat> and I may do something very similar. So, step number one is we are going to, this is called Ruby, by the way, going to draw a heart. It does not have to be a perfect heart. Do you see this heart? Is it perfect? Some people say, I can't do this because I can't draw a heart. Look, it's a C, and then it's another backward C going this way, or a candy cane, right? This one, look at how that one's up higher than this one. It's not a perfectly symmetrical heart. That is okay. Step number one, it's okay. Then step number two, we're going to aura that. Now you can aura it like this, or you could put the little bump in there. Either way, right? Step number three, we're going to make these little curved lines to make it look like there's something hugging right there. There and there. And then step number four. Oh, I see. Okay, take it back. You want this kind of triangular shape first. And then you want this thing. And then you want to do an aura in the middle here following that heart shape because this line needs to be behind these guys. There was a reason. See, never doubt the, well, not never, but I should have known better. I should have looked at it ahead, but I didn't because, you know, me, I'm learning along with you. So there was a reason why the outside, I thought you were going to do this and then do another one on the outside. Nuh uh you do the outside one first, then you do these middle like bands, and then you do this one here. Okay? So it looks like that. And then you can embellish however you want. You'll notice that in the sample, these pieces here are much more curvy and pronounced, and that this, see how this has it actually does have a, a, a bump like that. It's not straight across here. But this is really big. And see how that kind of curves around like that? Awesome sauce, right? If you are not sure, if you want to do this type of, of a thing, and you're not sure exactly how to do it, you can draw this outside bit in pencil and then do this one so that you can get that curve. And I, I think maybe I'd like to show that because I like that, oops, I'm dropping things. I like that look rather than this where it just cuts off straight. I like that coming around look, that wrapped around look. So I'm going to do that. And I really, I'm very inspired by this. Um, I'm gonna turn on my light. And I'm going to start with pencil because I want to kind of play with where I want this on my tile. I think I think I want to do it in a diagonal. So I want the the main part of this. I'm going to I'm going to kind of get, get this shape in. That's going to be like my outside shape. Okay? 
Can you see that? I'm not sure you guys can even see it, but I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to come back and erase anyway, but I'm going to make my outside shape because I want to know where this final outer piece is going to be. And then my middle shape will be somewhere in here. Somewhere in there, which means my middle heart is going to be somewhere in here like that. It not exactly, but it'll be somewhere in there. I'm just sketching this out with pencil just to get an idea of where I want to place my elements. Um, I think I still want a border, but I want my border to be inside. I do that sometimes. I, I do like that look. And I think I want for sure this is going to be smaller. And then these wrap around bits, they have to go all the way to here. So I want to just kind of go like that. Give myself an idea where those are going to go as well. These pencil lines um, are absolutely not necessary. I'm doing them for myself because that's what I want to do. If you don't want to use them, don't. Okay, just simple as that. Don't use them. I am going to start now with my inner heart. Okay. I feel, always feel like that's not focusing good, but I think it's just, it's just me. Still don't have those dang glasses. I need to stop and call. What have I got all over my fingers? Holy guacamole. I am a mess today. Sorry about that, folks. My fingers look awful. Okay. So, in this middle part, I'm going to draw my heart. Doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be mine. I like that shape. That's a good one. Okay. And now I'm actually going to draw this part next. This, this bit. I know kind of where I want the edge of my outer piece. So I know that I want this to come like this and around like that. And then it's going to go like this and around like that. Okay, I'm going to do the same over here. That and around like this. And here and around like that. I love that. It's a lot like, like two wedding rings. I, I see this very, you know, anniversary. This would be an awesome anniversary card. Oh, wouldn't this be beautiful for a wedding or an anniversary card? Absolutely. Okay, so now I want to do my outer bit here, which I'm actually going to put. Do I want that? As a thing, no, I'm going to leave it the way I've got it drawn. Okay. So I'm going to do like this. Come here. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm go there. And I'm going to come around here. And I'm going to go like that. Okay. See that what I did? And then in between, I'm going to follow this one with a more heart-shaped thing. Like that. Okay, it's not perfect. Not meant to be perfect. And now I'm going to erase those guidelines. Um, well, no, I take it back. I'm going to stop and do my border. I like the idea of this border kind of
coming out like that. And you'll note I picked up a little bit bigger pen for my border. It's not a lot bigger. You probably don't notice it, but I do. So, And now I can erase all those little guidelines to get rid of them so I don't see them. But that's the pattern right there. We're done. Uh, now it's just time for embellishment and play. And I may... I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I may color it in. I do think coloring would be pretty. What do I want to do? I don't know. I feel like there's a... Oh. I thought it was on my page. It's on my camera screen. Huh. There was a splotch on my camera screen. I thought I had a, a duber on my paper. All right. Uh... Pencils. Let me get my... Oh, that's markers. Oh, I can't reach. Oh, I've rearranged things and I can't reach. Okay. Pencils. I'm going to do some color pencil gem thingy in the middle there. I really like the way that looks. So, obviously, I want a pink. And... A red. Which red do I want? Rouge Carmine or Crimson? I think I'm going to go with Crimson and I'm going to go with this Fuchsia Pink. We'll have three colors of pink and a kind of a peachy color, I think, as my base first color. We're going to start with that and see where that takes us. I'm going to start with the lightest color. I'm just going to go all the way around in here with this light. It's called um, light peach. I'm going to go around with this light peach color. And I like the way the sample was with the light at the bottom and darker up here in the corners. I like that. So I'm going to kind of emulate that. But mine won't be exactly the same, but it'll be similar. I really do like the sample. So there's a sort of a light peach color, and then I'm going to go with my next darkest color, and I'm going to go all the way around the edge with my, because I want the dark color at the edge no matter what. So I'm going to go all the way around the edges with this next darkest color. Hope you guys can't hear too much of the construction going on outside. It's a rainy, drizzly day. It hasn't started really raining hard yet. It's supposed to. They're working really hard to try to get as much done today as they can before the rain hits. Got some awesome, awesome people doing our back wall. Okay, so I'm going to just do a little bit light there and make it darker as I come up here. And I'm just going to do little circles. And just keep coloring in just lightly, lightly, lightly. I don't want to mash the fibers of the paper until I'm all the way done. When you're done, you can go back with the blending stump or the blending pencil and mash the fibers, and that will bring out all the colors. But until then, you don't want to mash. That just makes a mess. Just do lots of light layers. Okay, I'm going to start with that one. It's the pink. And then I want, I want most of it to be the fuchsia. I'm going to actually put the red next, which is what I want around the, the darkest part on the edges. But then I'm going to put that fuchsia over the top. 
really make it pop. I think that will do it. Probably could have sharpened this pencil just a bit. So not only does this remind me of weddings and love and, you know, marriage and anniversary, but it also reminds me of <clears throat> my brother-in-law who had a heart attack just recently and the love that the family has for him and that he has for us and the love he has for his wife and his children and how um, I hope that my prayers for him and his family and that I hope that he takes the his recovery seriously and that he he makes the lifestyle changes that he needs to do or we're going to lose him earlier than he needs to be lost um you know it's one thing to get uh some sort of um disease diagnosis that you can't stop you know that you can do nothing about uh, MS or or cancer or something that you know there's treatments but that that it's nothing that you can help reverse but the heart disease heart disease something he can do something about he can lose the weight he can exercise more he can get his heart back into shape and he can become healthier. He can make some lifestyle choices. And I hope that he does. I know it's going to be hard. Oh, I definitely know it's going to be hard. Because I know that there are times I do not make good lifestyle choices. And... So, you know, I get it. But I'm hoping that he chooses life and chooses to stick around a little bit more. And this is where I'm praying right here as I color. I do that a lot. And, you know, I've shared that with you guys before. That, that uh, my drawing time is often my prayer time. Not usually when I'm talking to you guys. <clears throat> Occasionally, I have had those moments, like right now, but most of the time I'm just drawing and talking to you guys. But, um, see, I wanted it a little lighter, so I went back with this light peach, like that. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I like those colors. I'm done with the reds. So, I know the sample shows that green... Uh oh, where'd my sample go? Oh, my phone's doing funky things again. Close. Oh, I don't want to dial. Thank you very much. Okay, it shows a, a kind of a limey green and kind of a teal. Those are not the colors I think of when I think of my brother-in-law. And since I'm sort of now going down that path of, of thinking about him as I color... I'm going to choose colors that remind me of him. I do like the gold color for the ring part. So I'm going to choose a light cream. And this one is called yellow orange. And this one is called Spanish orange. I'm going to go with these three for the little ring. I'm going to start with that. So the rest of this is all going to be just coloring. Um, you know, basically we're done with the actual pattern. So if you want to fast forward to the end, you're more than welcome to do so. I'm going to start with this color. I have to decide where my highlight color is going to end up being. Where do I want it to be the lightest and so I just do the whole thing in the lightest color so it has like a base coat and then decide 
where I like the idea of in her sample and you know you don't always have to think of things on your own the sample shows the highlights in here and right at the top of here and right at the top of there and so that would be a good place for me to also do the highlights so what's the next color orange which one is lighter this one is I think so I'm just gonna leave some of that just yellow and do that next color orange just like that very lightly and then I can come back when I do my highlights I can come back with my white gel pen and and get a little sparkle bit right there you know I'm just going to leave those like that. I don't know if you can even see that. It's very faint. And then do this darkest one right along this edge. Right along the edge here. Absolutely right there where it's behind the heart because that would, that would cast a shadow. So you still have to think about shadows. Um... in your coloring just like you would with the with the graphite you want to make your darkest value in the spots where it would have an overlap I like that and then I'm going to go back through with the light color one more time and just kind of blend everything together But yeah, you guys, you guys know that, that that in my personal drawings, there's a lot of prayer happening, um, and you know there are there are days that my personal drawings do not go well. They to, to me they look completely ugly when I'm done, but it's okay because you know maybe that prayer needed to be ugly. It it was a struggle. It was a fight, and um, sometimes that happens. I'm gonna go with. A green on the outside. I think I want blues. Or do I want browns? No. It's definitely blue. Definitely a blue sort of dude. Okay, so I want that one. And these two. Those are going to be my three. I like to have at least three. Maybe four. Maybe I'll do this light blue too. And I want the blue here. So I'm going to start with the lightest one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a little bit of coloring very lightly. Try not to color in straight lines because you see that more. I try to do little circles where I can. Sometimes, you know, up against an edge or whatever, you have to do a a more straight line but I try to do little circles you might not even be able to see that I'm doing that but I'm really I'm just doing this see just little circles but I'm just going fast and I'm hardly pushing I'm barely touching the <clears throat> paper with this pencil That's good for the first layer and then where do I want my highlights I want my highlights I'm gonna want them up here just up there I think would be good so up here I want to leave the, the lightest areas so my next color pencil is probably this one It's kind of purpley, but that's all right. So 
that's where I'm leaving my highlight right up there maybe a little bit lighter in the middle of that shape I'm not going to put a lot of color in there always right around the edge I like to put the darkest and you can color any way you want I'm just telling you what I like my own personal preferences you do your thing and be proud of it don't let anybody tell you your work is not good on my word today I was I was on my one of my Facebook groups and and uh, it's part of part of Cinnamon Cooney's um, and I don't remember if it was on Cinnamon's page or if it was on the Angeluni page um, but there was somebody who said that they were starting um, the art quest with she was starting the art quest with her parents which is awesome can you imagine learning how to paint with your parents that that seems like such a fun thing to do I wish I was closer to physically closer to my mother um, that we would be able to take art classes together but we're just a little too far apart like a two hour drive hour and a half to two hour drive each direction so you know doing a, a spur of the moment art class together would not work but it would be fun um, but anyway she said that uh, even though all three of them are brand new beginners that her mother was already starting to criticize her work and that she thought that she was already comparing the three of them that dad was doing so much better than than she was and it's like really that's not cool you know you need to support each other's journey rather than comparing each other's journey not cool folks but you know there are those people who who find life very competitive like that and that there's always got to be somebody who's the winner in any situation even though it's not a competition and um, you know that sometimes that sometimes can be okay that I mean if that's the type of person you are and you need that challenge to to get yourself going that's cool but you know don't don't put people down in order to do that challenge yourself against yourself don't challenge yourself against others I think that's what I'm trying to say I'm gonna just do all of this maybe a little bit deeper here because this is the darkest color I can go ahead and push a little bit more That's good. Oh, I like that color. That's pretty. Okay. Putting some of that dark over that highlighted area because those other pencils were kind of the purpley color and this one's blue and I want I want it to be more blue, not not so purpley. totally the color on the on my viewfinder is totally a different color than the color in real life that's weird 
I really like the color on the viewfinder much better, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to make it darker like that. Awesome. Okay. That's pretty. Okay, and now I want greens. Put these away. I like to put away my pencils right as soon as I'm done using them because otherwise I end up losing things. Okay, now this color green is my brother-in-law. He loves a bright chartreuse. Uh, so I'm going to go with that and that and this. I'm going to stay away from the darker greens, I think. I'm going to go with these bright greens. It's totally, and I'm wondering which one is actually, I know this one's lighter, uh, brighter, but I think this one is actually lighter. So I'm going to go with this one as the base. So this is going to end up being kind of a long video. Like I said, if you want to not watch me color, fast forward to the end. It's okay. I understand. Or if you want to watch me color, but you want to do it in a little faster ma manner, you can always hit the little gear icon um, on the YouTube. And you can tell it you want to watch it in fast forward. And it will fast forward it for you, but you'll still be able to watch rather than skipping. I do that sometimes on, especially the pages I watch that are doing art journaling, because I know that, that their process is going to be a lot of gluing, and I don't need to watch them glue because I know how to glue, but I like to watch what elements that they put and how they choose where to put stuff. And you can watch them kind of put things down and decide on color and placement and things. Um, I enjoy watching that. So um, I often will fast forward through that. I think this is too light right there. Let me get that darker color one more time. I think, I think I need to get a little bit more, just a little bit. I think I just left it all, just a tad too light. That's better. I liked it, but I think it was just a tad too light. Okay. Okay, so then the next color I think I'm going to do is this kind of limey green color. This is his color for sure. He's the kind of man to stand out in a crowd, that's for sure loud and big and the life of the party not afraid to to stand out that's for sure yep good color and then just a darker one just around the edges to give it a little bit of dimension but it doesn't need much I think that's a good color Okay, now I need to figure out what I want to put in the background. This back there. 
I think I want something back there, but I'm not sure what. Maybe brown. We're going to ground this. I think grounding, grounding with the earth is a good idea. I want to make sure that although we like to be the life of the party, that we're still around to have a party. So we want to be grounded, right? Those are my prayers. The reasons I'm picking those colors. Let's be grounded. Okay, browns it is. Put the greens away. And find me browns. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with this coffee colored one. It's dark brown, but it's kind of coffee colored because, you know, not only is it grounding, but coffee is a, is a favorite of his. And when we were visiting him at the hospital, he says that, uh, you know, he's willing to try the, he's going to have to go through this cardiac boot camp, which basically sticks him on a vegan diet for 9 to 12 weeks to get him, you know, into that healthier lifestyle habit. And then once that's over, he can start reintroducing non-vegan products if he wants to. But they say that by then, by the, by that eight, 9 to 12 weeks, you've been on this um, regimen long enough that, that you may want to continue without adding the other things back into your life. So we'll see. But he said coffee is one of those things that he is not willing to give up. But he may have to switch to decaf. He doesn't want to switch to decaf. But his heart might not want caffeine anymore. So, you know, boot camp is going to be tough. You know, I usually start with the lightest and go to the darkest, and I don't know why I started with the darkest. I'm trying to put light on top of that, but it's all right. We're making it sort of a coffee color, sort of a ground color. It's just background. It's all right. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. And maybe a little bit of this light, light umber. Oh, no, I'm not really happy with that color, but now that I've put it somewhere, I've got to put it everywhere. But I don't have to put a lot of it. I just have to put a little, just so it matches. Not my favorite color. It looks better on the pencil than it does on the paper. Okay, we're good with that. How about a little gold? Should we add a little gold? No. Okay, but I've started it, so I've got to finish. I've got to put the same bit of gold everywhere. Maybe in this background. Oh yeah, that's okay. The gold can be in the background. All right, we'll give a little gold to my brother-in-law to help him to feel golden in his old age. He must stay old age because, you know, he's not even 50 yet. Come on. You gotta, you gotta stay with us. So we're gonna pray for the golden years. Yeah, he was not happy that he was the uh, youngest in the cardiac ward of the hospital. Okay, so now this one I need to put the name because I didn't do that yet. And then I'll put my signature. This one's called Ruby. Um, let's 
go in there like that. And then I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my Uniball Signo. It's a Uniball Signo. Oops, it's upside down. That's the pen I'm using. Um, these pens, you do need to kind of prime them a little bit over on the side. And you've got to kind of get them going because they tend to clog. And then I'm going to go up a little bit of highlight here. The problem with these pens is they do tend to, you have to be a really light hand with them. It's really weird. And sometimes over the top of the pencil, they don't want to write. And your inclination would be to push harder to make them write. It's actually the opposite. You need to press less to make them write. Where else do I want a little bit of I'm not really happy with this particular pen so I think I'm going to switch over I have these other ones that I actually like better these are um, also from Sakura I don't know if you can see that they're called decorees they're more like a they're also are, are a type of a rollerball type of pen but I think they're more of an oily based pen and the ink comes out of them much better. Oh yeah, much better. Look at that. There is a huge difference. It's more opaque. Look at that. And you just barely have to touch to get the, the ink to come out. But oh wow. That's that's a big difference. There. Yeah. Much better. Okay, so I want I want to put a little highlight here. Like that. And a little highlight here. Like that. And one here as well. Top of here, and a little bit here, like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? And then, of course, right along these bits as well, like that. Aha! Perfect. Okay, yeah, I like that pen much better than the. Signo. The Signo, I started with the Signo because it's easier to find. That Decorese one um, is much harder to buy. So if you don't have it, you know, you can use your Uniball. You can use any other white gel pen that you might have for the highlights. But um, I really like that Decorese one. I just have to be careful not to touch it because it takes a while to dry. So there's my Ruby. And I hope you guys enjoyed your day. Um, give a little prayer to my brother-in-law if you would. Uh, that he is able to make these lifestyle changes and stay with us a really long time. I ask that you uh, do something nice for somebody today. 
give them your love tell them how much you appreciate them and i will see you later bye bye